Right, I'm in the process of making some bits and pieces for some windows and I've come across a mystery steel. Um, I needed some quarter square uh, to make some little things, I'll show you them in a minute. Um, and I found this bit lying around in the workshop but it's very peculiar. Let me just show you what I've been making and then I'll show you what this steel does. This is what I wanted to make. It's, um, I don't know what you call it. It's quite tiny. It's a catch of some sort on these windows. Um, I've just made the hinges down there. And these are all the other bits and pieces I've got to make. Some new pins. I'm going to make, copy those. I already made some staples to go with um, these things that I've made. Um, I've made all these ready to go um, and so I was cut starting on the these other bits um, there's the original window I've got to do that um, one of those or actually two of those things on the bottom because there's a pair of windows I'm going to make a pair of those catches um, yeah anyway and uh, replicate those there's one of them already there behind uh, so this steel, where is it? Can't find it now. Oh, there we go. I found some bits kicking about the workshop. Now, it doesn't particularly ring. You wouldn't say that was sort of like a real high carbon ring. It is quite stiff, although it will bend. Let's put a bend in it, but it is quite strong. Let's go and do a spark test and see what that does. Okay, we've got it up in the vise. Let's have a little look. Get some further away. Not particularly bright sparks, but uh, very sparkly sparks. Now let's see what it does when you heat it up. Okay, so we try heating it up. Let's, so you wouldn't call that really a high ring of a high carbon steel. Anyway, let's heat it up and see what happens. Now this isn't horribly hot, it's, and look, it just falls to pieces. Now that looks hotter on the camera than it actually is. That in here is about a cherry red or a orange, bright, bright orange but not yellow. Um, it's hard to hit. Let's just warm it up again, I'll show you again. Weird. But it only has a small window where it falls apart like that. Let's see what happens now if you cool it out. Okay, so I've just cooled it out. Still doesn't sound particularly. shatters. That goes all over the place. I don't know if you see that. I don't know if we'll be able to get this to focus on the... No, let's uh, zoom out a bit and then come in closer. See if we can see any better.
still focused, real crystalline or sort of not really crystalline, it's sort of I don't know what it what you call it. Anyway, so that's useless for anything in the forge. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it, probably just sling it in the bin because I can't think of a use for it. So if anyone's got any ideas what it might be, here we are, let me know. Um because I haven't got a clue. So that's got back to be behind where it was called. As you can see, it bends. Try on the other end. <laughs> Flying around a workshop, shrapnel. Dodgy stuff. So, if anyone's got any sensible ideas about what that still might be, um, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I, obviously it's a high carbon of some sort but I've never come across one that um, falls apart at such low temperatures. Um, that's what's fooling me. Um, otherwise you would, would have said it's just a high carbon steel. Um, but yeah, so anyone got any ideas? Let me know. <laughs>